the technical analysis guys, coupled with the fact that we saw NASDAQ up 3.7%. It was its game on this morning with a little bit of good news about expanding into Europe, which is going back to an announcement in August. Mm. Um, you know, it's just a red rag to a bull, literally, uh, the bulls of Afterpay. So um, how long it lasts remains to be seen. Uh, we, we have added a smidge to our holding in Afterpay on the weakness. And we'll wait and see how that plays out. But certainly, you know, it's our, it's our proxy for the NASDAQ, let's face it. We, we don't have that many mm. tech stocks around. Is the problem is that it's not always easy to distinguish where do the fundamentals stop and where does the hot money take over. It's probably quite no and quite healthy for the for the share market in itself, and and I wouldn't be surprised uh, if a lot of people um, are are looking at Afterpay today to uh, finally jump in because at 150 it just seemed a little bit toppy, mm. and at uh, around 100 dollars it seems like a bargain. I mean, there's a lot of things I actually don't like about Afterpay. But there are a lot of things where you can see that I mean, it is the market leader. We should realize that without Afterpay, we would not have a BNPL internationally. 